and welcome to Credit TV. On this episode, I hope you guys are actually watching where you're safe and healthy. It's a stay home all across the world. So I hope you're staying healthy. Well, I thought I'll show you something very, very, very healthy, but rich in flavor. Okay, it's gonna be, we are making this in coconut oil, coconut milk. So there's a lot of flavors coming in. So today I'm gonna to make duck for you guys. I hope you guys are ready. Have you, how many of you have tried duck? Well, this is an authentic version of duck in coconut milk, okay? So let me show you how this is done and what all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. Okay, so I'm not gonna give you a quantity right now. I'll introduce you to all the ingredients because we're gonna use this in multiple stages. And I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through this, okay? So first off, we have coriander powder, turmeric powder, garam masala, red chili powder, not the Kashmiri chili, the this is the nice spicy one, okay? This is red chili powder, salt to taste, one tablespoon of peppercorn, curry leaves, garlic, a ginger, a small piece, somewhat medium-sized ginger, green chilies, and I have tomatoes, potatoes. This is rusted potatoes, two of them. I just chopped up somewhat bite sizes. And this is two red onions, very thinly sliced, okay? And our main hero is duck. This is two pounds of duck. Now it's really hard to de-skin duck, so I have a little bit of fat running in there, but that's okay, it's gonna add more flavor to our curry, okay? So first and foremost, we're also gonna be using coconut oil and coconut milk. I told you, this is really rich in flavor. So this is a great, great recipe and to try with appam, idiapam. If you don't know how to make those, watch it down, scroll down, you'll find it, okay? Um, try those recipes out. If you can get your hands on these two, okay? That's fine, no problem. Roti, bread, chapati, any of this would good. It would be really, really tasty. Even if you don't have any of this, try with some plain rice. It's also very, very good. So let's marinate our duck. So I'm gonna marinate this with one tablespoon of coriander powder. quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, one tablespoon of red chili powder. We're gonna add salt to taste. Now when cleaning duck, it's really helpful if you can wash it three or four times. And the last time when you wash it, wash it in some vinegar. Once you wash it with in vinegar for a couple of times, it also helps with cooking process. So try that, that's a tip, okay? Let's, before we marinate this, I need fresh ingredients. For that, I'm gonna use four garlic cloves and half of this ginger. So, okay, half of this ginger, and we're gonna crush it. When you add fresh ingredients in your cooking, it enhances the flavors. So try using all fresh ingredients. Sometimes it's hard, I know, but if you can, try fresh ingredients. Instead of using the store-bought garlic paste and ginger paste, try making it at home. When you're making that authentic version of whatever the recipe it is, it just, it, that taste itself just stands out, really. So I have crushed all my garlic and ginger. So like I said, four cloves of garlic and small piece of ginger. To that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of black pepper, peppercorns, fresh peppercorns. We're gonna crush that as well. With COVID-19, you got all the time in the world. You're trying a new food, right? So that's why I encourage you to try the fresh ingredients. If you don't have enough time, that's fine. Go stay and stick with your, um, pantry stuff which you already have on hand that's also fine absolutely fine i like to play with my food trying new recipes doesn't hurt anybody right so let's mix all of our ingredients which is our green um, our garlic ginger and peppercorns into our duck and let's marinate it and get it in our cooker okay this is going, it's going to be cooking in our Indian cooker 
for three to four whistles okay let's marinate our duck okay i've marinated my duck so i'm gonna take an indian cooker and add all of this duck into it okay so in goes our lid and I'm going to get this going on the stove okay let's get our cooking going now I didn't pour any water in that's also, that's very important that we pour a half cup of water into our duck the duck will have more broth in it but I'm just adding half cup of water let's close our lid and start our cooking so about four whistles is what i'm looking for let's get that going on a separate bowl i'm going to take some masalas now we need to soak these masalas so it doesn't fry in the oil okay so what we're going to do it now is half a teaspoon of garam masala one tablespoon of red chili powder quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder now coriander powder you need to add more above from any of the other spices so i'm going to add one and a half tablespoon of coriander powder coriander powder also helps with thickening that gravy so let's give it a mix and then soak this in some water we're trying to get it into a nice fine paste okay perfect so let's keep this aside and get our fresh ingredients going okay into our motor mix we're going to crush in the rest of the ginger and three cloves of garlic Woo. Perfect. Now this is ready to go and all our ingredients are ready to go. So I have the red onions, two red onions thinly sliced and two steak sized tomatoes. If you like more gravy, add more or if you like less, add less. So this is two steak sized tomatoes, very thinly sliced, along with two rusted potatoes that I've just peeled and chopped up into somewhat big sizes and uh, all our spices are ready so the cooker is going to come up with the first whistle and then I'm going to wait for to get four up to four whistles and then we're going to get the rest of the ingredients going okay my cooker has been going on for like 10 minutes now I'm turning off my stove and let's get uh, the rest of the going on a separate pan we're going to start cooking all the rest of the ingredients in so when cooking okay the coconut milk i'm using co um, store bought a can of coconut milk so for that i'm going to reserve quarter cup of a nice thick coconut milk for my last okay so that is just eyeball it i'm not going to be coming out to you and making sure if you have a high quarter cup or half cup no problem all what we're doing is so that it doesn't split when we are boiling our potatoes in our coconut milk okay so that's quarter cup of coconut milk ready for us to use towards the end it's to add up all those flavors together since this is nice and hot let's pour in some coconut oil now coconut oil if you don't want such strong flavor in your because i'm using this as an ingredient this is an authentic version by the way all my recipes i tried out i didn't learn it from anybody this is like you know this is all my own creations so if you like my own creations i think you all do because i've been getting so many feedbacks from you guys saying hey that's good this is good it turned out really good i really appreciate all your feedbacks so with that with that all in, in mind for my recipes, I like if it, I'm going 
completely authentic, I like to use coconut oil. If I feel, you know, it doesn't have to be the original version of it, or if we can't get that ingredient, then I change it. So for this recipe, I feel coconut oil is the best oil for it because I'm using the authentic recipe. So for that, I'm going to use two tablespoons of nice coconut oil. And now pan is really, really screaming hot, okay? To that, we're going to lower our heat first. And then to that, we're going to add our crushed ginger and garlic. So this is a small portion of the ginger and three cloves of garlic. All into that. Ah, oh, the smell of garlic in that coconut oil along with ginger really good okay and some fresh curry leaves Woo! celebrations did start okay and all of our green chilies this is eight green chilies split mmm goodness all that goodness okay perfect now I don't want it to, to burn right or change its color or anything so right now we're going to add in all of our red onion. So this is two red onions, very thinly sliced. Perfect. Now you just saw me making a well in my onion, right? Now for that, I'm going to add in all our spices that we have blended into this oil. Is it okay? Is it good? Okay, good. Perfect. Let's add in our two state sized tomatoes. Because it's COVID-19, I ran out of pearl onions and shallots. If you have shallots at hand, please use that instead of the onions. It adds more into flavor, okay? Now this is well mixed together and let that sit in that in that steam for like one to two minutes so that it welds the onion and also sautés that um, tomato along with it. I'm going to crank up the heat and add in all of our potatoes which been, has been in water so it doesn't change its color. We're going to add two rusted potato into this and it's water and saute all this make sure it cooks well in that spices and we're going to top it off okay don't go there hold on so we're going to also pour some coconut milk in here so that potatoes cook in that coconut milk it's a different taste Okay, that's why I added all that water into it so that it does that dilutes the coconut milk a little bit more. To cook this potatoes, it is going to take anywhere from three to five minutes, depending on how much water that you have in there and the level of um, heat that you have. So if you have on high heat. It should get ready in about seven minutes. Um, if you have it on medium low, it's going to take even longer. So make sure you have crank up the heat and let's cook this for seven minutes. I do not want to completely cook my potatoes. That's why I'm just get, getting it in the middle. And then when I add my uh, ducks in, it's going to come together. I add those flavors together. They're going to get to know each other a little bit and then, you know, exchange a little bit of you know hey you hi how are you that kind of thing in this curry okay 
So let's wait about seven minutes or so and we'll check back on that. It's been steaming away. We need to check on our potatoes and the onions and the tomatoes. Are they all well knowing each other? Let's do that. My God. Ooh. They really not got to know each other. Okay. It's bubbling away. Perfect. This is perfection on its way. Very good. It's time to introduce our main hero into the scene. Okay. They, these guys got to know each other, but we need to introduce somebody else, which is the quack quack. Let's try that. Okay. Our duck is ready to enter the scene. Let's introduce that duck into the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Reduce the heat before you add your duck. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Thank you. See? Okay. Okay. It's time to mix it all together. Let them get to know each other a little bit. You know, share some love. Now, the potatoes are so tender so juicy all of that flavors are coming together now if you don't like this much onion you can reduce the quantity but I really like that onion okay now what we need to do is let them come together and then we only have four things remaining which is garam masala salt to taste and fresh curry leaves and a little bit of our coconut milk which we kept it apart so let's let them get to know each other Let's give that mingling time. Okay. Surprise! There we go. Okay. Ha ha ha. You know what I mean? This is the perfect curry to have with the roti or chapati or naan. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. We are in heaven. Look at this. The potatoes are fork tender the duck is very very juicy full of flavors full of protein and it's all enriched of that coconut milk and coconut oil oh my gosh now we just need to top it off so fresh just a pinch of garam masala on top okay and now I'm going to add a little bit of salt to taste now that's according to your taste, okay? Salt to taste, let's give it a good mix. We got two more ingredients on the side. Next, what we're gonna do is lower our heat, okay? And then, now let's mix in our coconut milk. Yeah, and turn off our stove, okay? Don't touch your ladle, okay? Keep that aside. Okay. And leave some fresh curry leaves on top. If you want. Only if you want. And if you've got the guts. Pour in some coconut oil at the very, very top. What that does is combines all that flavor. So that's a good tablespoon of coconut oil on top it's just going to combine everything together and it's going to give a little bit of love some tlc here and there and then our dish is done i hope you enjoyed something new learned something new i really did thank you so much for sh stopping by and uh, i would love it if you can share this recipe with your friends and family try this out let me know how it came in for you, okay? I'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Think positive. And I'll see you next time on Curry TV.